stuff. All right, so here you go. Yeah, well, okay. I'm going to mute myself. So here yeah, you go. Fine. Ow, 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 ow. Right, ah, there he is. I couldn't see him. Good evening, Eric. Hello. 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 Good evening, Eric. So would we like to talk about your video? Well, what about it? What I just popped in. I just popped in to say I love you all. God okay. bless every single one of you. God bless everybody in your listening audience. I forgive you guys. Okay. The Lord, I ask the Lord not to hold any of this against you at all. All right. Uh, Should so, I be doing the same about you, Larry? Well, you can do whatever you like. And God bless you all. Thank but you, that, everybody, for listening. Uh, we don't love run you. away, Eric. Come. Oh, God. That is typical, Eric. Well, there no you explanation. Go. Well, there it is. Okay. There, there you go. Is. So he couldn't, he couldn't address his habitual line. He couldn't no. address anything. He came here condescending. And he forgives you, Dave, for the sin he caused against you. This is what I don't that, that is interesting, to say the least. That, from a, you know, psychological oh, standpoint, that is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. He loves me, and he forgives me. Um, so he forgives you for, for he caused you. Inboxing me. Um, he forgives me for making things public and twisting the facts. Wow. That deserves some kind of uh, award, I think. I, 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 I don't think I've this one. <laughs> oh, I don't know That's Eric, isn't it? I'm, I'm almost speechless at that now. <laughs> Short and sweet. I love you, and I forgive you. Even though I've lied about you. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, you know, if it's okay with you, uh, Eric, I don't forgive you. I just think you're a complete cunt. But there you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, look, you made the wife the wife laugh now. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rebuked now. Yeah, yeah. Sorry to offend. Uh, I know Ben's very sensitive. He's got very sensitive ears to um to such words. But believe me, Ben, I only use that word on very special occasions, and that was one of them. Okay, I apologise. I repent. Sorry, Lord. Yeah, that special occasion. A special occasion. I have a confession. Do you? Yeah, I do. It's about Eric. Oh, God. Yes. Here we go now. Oh, Eric, brother Eric, or whatever it is you oh, are. Oh, yeah, brother. Hold I on. forgive you, brother Eric. <laughs> I forgive you for calling me demon possessed over in brother JG's room. Oh, no. Oh, oh, you didn't get the demon possessed, did you? Yeah, I got the demon possessed treatment. He tried oh. hard. He tried hard to fear monster me and tell me I had a demon. He was killed. Oh, no. okay, but I forgive him hmm. instantly, Bill. I realized that Eric is a man who fears that he has demons. And therefore I think you could he could actually be around, right there, Tommy. And and therefore he goes around fear mongering other rascals such as me. Open oh, said hello oh, in Chinese. You, Eric. And I forgive you for poisoning the well over on Brother JG's channel or whoever he is, God knows. Um, when you said, when you said, ah, thank Tom, Tommy, he's not worth humoring. He's he's just not worth humoring. And 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 I forgive you, Eric. And I forgive you, Eric, for uh, trying to fear monger me about being a watchman. Yeah, everybody's got to be a watchman on the wall, or or you'll have blood on your hands like me. Right. Uh -huh. You got to be. I, I forgive you, Eric, for fear mongering me, and I yeah, forgive Tommy, you, yeah, Eric. To forgive me, Tommy. I'm limited on time, so I have to get this done and be on my way. You'll have to forgive my interruption. I have never had anything to do with Eric. I think his name's Eric Jewell. Prior to 2023, I've never spoken in private to this individual. I've only ever been on a handful of panels, and I think it's a couple. It could be more. I never 
I've exchanged financial anything with David in the corner here. I've and certainly not that. for sex, was it, Ryan? And certainly not for sex, just to get that. Ooh, up. what kind don't, of sex? Who said anything <laughs> about that? Who said anything about that? Did, they, did he actually say that? No, I'm no, joking, that joke. Eric. That was a joke. That was a joke, Ryan. I, I, I don't find that funny. Um, I've never exchanged financial in information or any money at all with David. So this guy is clearly talking about his butt. And that's all that I would say. Okay, Ryan. Thank you for that. Um, I was joking anyway about that. But okay, poor taste. It's just me. He's forgotten what my humor's like. But yeah. Why, why do you keep, why, Bill, why do you keep uh, uh, using the dude's picture and talking about G&G Grease dude? Why are you talking about Paul? No, look, it's a, you missed you missed the stream. It's a joke between me and Paul, and everyone used the dude face and used the dude in no, their name. Isn't that from a movie? Isn't that picture yeah, from a movie? Was this, a, was this a praises panel or something? No, no, this was on Bob's. That was fun. You missed it. It was ever so funny. Everyone became oh, the yeah, dude. I don't, I don't oh, bother with Bob's channel. That no, they didn't. I didn't. I'm not a dick. No, thank you. All right, but that was that's that's where it was. Everyone became the dude, and you know he said he said for once instead of me having to uh, copy and follow Bill, Bill's actually copied and followed me. So it, it is the obviously the, <laughs> the official the official dude. Well, I, I guess I do find it funny because you've probably got about at least 30 or 40 different dude socks that I can count, assuming all of them are you. No, I've only got one. He, he knows about that one. That's the, the dude massive. The dude uh, massive. Nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, what, what is the Farms Act? Because I, I heard, I've read about this. I don't know the, the, the details on this. Look, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but I don't have much time. Can I continue with my confession about Eric? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm oh. not trying to be rude, Tommy, but I only have maybe okay. another five or ten minutes before I have to go. Okay, well, in that case, carry on. What I, I was talking about the Harms Act, so what exactly is this? I've only read about it. The Harms Act. Um, yeah, um, if somebody uh, posts malicious content um, to harm individuals, to be honest with you, Ryan, it's mostly to silence the truthers and religious, you know, basically. But well, I mean, I, I don't care what it's about. I care how it applies in this context. Well, the thing is, if somebody, um, like, like, for instance, um, if Eric keeps doing what he's doing and I go to a solicitor and go to Google with a solicitor, it is... Yeah, you you um, don't need to go to Google, the solicitor can Sorry. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. They can do it on my behalf. I can simply go down there, show them the evidence, and they literally hold Google and YouTube accountable, and they get massive fines, and they are duty bound to remove. Well, yeah, that, that already exists in the U.S. Does it? They they would be facing in the U.S. It's a quarter million dollars per copyright uh, violation. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., the fines for violating what you're discussing are much much higher so it seems uk law is already caught up to that all yeah. that i would say is this there are individuals involved with this that would probably fit into a protected group or class mm -hmm. uk law is particularly persnickety about this old mm -hmm. people disabled people that mm -hmm. sort of thing people with health problems i do not know how uk law works with respect to deceased individuals since unfortunately mm -hmm. that is being raised about mm -hmm. Bill's late daughter Lucy, yeah, uh, I'm when I'm trying, I've, I've tried to avoid that as much as I possibly can, but I, mm -hmm. I don't know how that fleshes out in UK law. But those should be protected classes. You Absolutely. need to check with a barrister or a solicitor. Mm -hmm. What you're talking well, about could potentially put an end to Eric doing this, and in fact, what may happen is that what you're basically discussing would get Google to ISP ban Eric, and he would basically be told you could never oh, open an account. Oh. Mm, that would be a good thing, I think. It's a shame. In that respect, um, Ryan,